Only deadline to finish up your taxes is just one week from tomorrow. If you haven't filed yet, maybe you're still looking to maximize your deductions. This afternoon, our financial expert, Paul Hood, is back to discuss some last-minute deductions. Paul, thanks for being here. That was a busy time of year for you. It is. It's fun. Yeah. All hands on deck. I know, but we're in the home stretch. Yeah, we are. And uh, there, I'm sure there are people out there that haven't done it yet. So uh, how common is it for people to wait to file their taxes so that they can maximize their deductions? Well, it's getting more and more common because and it's, it has to do with deduction, but it also has to do with the complexity that the IRS puts on people that report income to taxpayers. So oftentimes, if you've got investments, you'll get a statement it's supposed to be out by the end of January, and it, you get it and it says it's an estimate, don't file, and you, or if you're a partner in a partnership, or if your investments have a partner or a partner in a partnership, it just takes forever. So. You know, typically I tell people if you can't file by March 15th, March 20th, you need to go ahead and extend. Is there a penalty for extending or? So an extension extends the time to file, not to pay. So you're understand. supposed to kind of send in money with your extension, uh, an estimate of what you might owe. Right. Okay. Um, and then what are some contributions that you can still make and deduct on your federal tax return? So. You know, it, it, they, they've really loosened this up. You know, you can make IRA contributions by uh, the due date of the return. You can make H HSA contributions. In Oklahoma, you can make an Oklahoma 529 plan contribution. And one of the great things we've seen, especially if you own a business or you're self-employed, used to, um, like what's called a SEP or a 401k plan, you would have to have the plan set up before December 31st, but you could fund it after the, until up to the extension due date. Now you can actually set the retirement plan up. So if, you've, if I've got a, somebody that's self-employed and, and they go, oh my gosh, they're gonna owe a lot of taxes, we can set up what's called a SEP or a UNIK or one of those and actually set the plan up and fund it now, even though it's and get credit for it for last year. Great. Right. What about uh, education savings plans? Are you still able to do that this year and get deductions for it? Yeah. So uh, Oklahoma, you know, every state, and, and there's a big, big misconception. You don't have to, if you make contributions to the Oklahoma 529 plan, doesn't mean you have to use it in Oklahoma. But you can make a contribution to the Oklahoma 529 plan and you get a deduction on your, on your state return. And some people don't know, you can front end load those. You can, you know, there's a limit of $10,000 that you can put in for a beneficiary, but you can do five years up front and put that money in now and, and accelerate five years worth of deductions. So there's some, still some planning that can be done. Yeah, and you kind of touched on this a second ago, but to file an extension, say I want to do that, um, is there benefits of doing that? Can you maximize your deductions by filing an extension? Yeah, yeah. A lot of these things that are due by April 15th, April 18th this right. year, um, actually, if you extend your tax return, they'll extend the time that you can make those contributions as well. So we've had people extend all the way to October and put retirement contributions, different things in for back to, to last year. It just depends on what they're doing. So there's and, and, you know, the biggest benefit, though, is in my experience, your chances of being audited go dramatically down if you if you don't file your return, especially in the next week, you know, in the, in the, in the first two weeks of April. Great. Find a tax expert, too. Yeah. Help you get through all that. That's all right. right. Paul, thanks so much. We appreciate it. You bet. Appreciate you. We'll be right back after this break. Stay with us.